Okay, good afternoon. Uh, uh, today, I'm uh, very... So, the Secretary was briefed by General McKenzie this morning at 8 o'clock uh, on the results of his investigation. And uh, on behalf of the men and women of the Department of Defense, uh, he offers his deepest condolences to surviving fire family members of those who were killed, including Mr. Ramadi, and to the staff of Nutrition and Education International, Mr. Ramadi's employer. And you should have in your inboxes now uh, a statement uh, that uh, I'm basically paraphrasing from. Uh, as the Secretary says in this statement, we, we apologize and we will endeavor to learn from this horrible mistake. And to that end, he has directed a thorough review of the investigation just completed by U.S. Central Command. Uh, and he has asked for this review to consider the degree to which the investigation considered all available context and information, the degree to which accountability measures need to be taken and at what level, and the degree to which strike authorities' procedures and processes need to be altered going forward. ...family members if they are provided. And then I, I know you walked us through the timeline at the... Uh, on another matter altogether, today the Secretary uh, approved a request from the Capitol Hill Police Board to provide 100 members of the Washington, D.C. National Guard who will be stationed at the D.C. Armory as a physical security task force this weekend to augment law enforcement um, uh, over, uh, over the weekend uh, covering the September 18th uh, demonstration on Capitol Hill. The D.C. National Guard will join a number of local law enforcement agencies in supporting the Capitol Police. Should the Capitol Police require assistance, they will first utilize local, state, and federal law enforcement capabilities before requesting the deployment of the Physical Security Task Force. The task force will only be deployed upon request of the Capitol Police to help protect the U.S. Capitol building and congressional office buildings by manning building entry points and screening individuals that are seeking access to the building. They will be unarmed. Back in January, it became kind of a big issue that there were veterans and I think in a couple cases... Senior administration officials uh, uh, have been in touch with their French counterparts uh, to discuss uh, this arrangement, uh, including before the announcement. Um, the secretary spoke with the French Minister of Defense this morning. Um, and uh, and uh, I won't characterize the, the French side, of course, but the, uh, it, it was clear from the discussion that there is still much work to do in terms of our defense relationship with, uh, with France, I mean, more things to work on, uh, uh, that, there are, uh, that there are opportunities um, and shared challenges and shared interests that both ministers uh, uh, committed to continue to explore. Um, and there's, as the president said, there's no regional divide that uh, separates uh, the interests of our Atlantic and our Pacific partners. Um, ensuring a free and open Indo-Pacific is a shared interest between the United States and Europe, uh, and we will continue our close cooperation with NATO and uh, the EU and other partners uh, in, on, that, on that kind of an endeavor. Uh, on IRAQ, uh, today the Joint uh, Operations Command uh, announced an agreement, security agreement with the U.S.